so now we will look at the another definition of the limit point of a set okay so ek definition to humne samajh gaye ab hame dusri definition bhi samajhni chahiye so what it is that we will see that a real number for example let let a belongs to r let a be a real number and s is subset of r real numbers okay as subset of r and a belongs to r so a is said to be then we say we say a point a a kya real number a so i will write belongs to r is said to be is said to be a limit point a limit point of s subset of r if every neighborhood of if every neighborhood of the point a contains contains infinite members infinite members of the set s kyunki hum s ke limit point check kar rahe hain members of the set s okay so how i will write to maan lete hain ki hum jo hamare paas is to isko number line pe rotate karte hain that a is a point दैट अब यहां पर देखिए डिलीटेड नेबरहुड की बात नहीं कर रहा है तो आपको डेफिनेशन में ये रिकॉल करना है कि जब भी डिलीटेड नेबरहुड की बात करेगा तो वो हमें हमेशा अदर देन ए की बात करेगा क्योंकि डिलीटेड नेबरहुड का मतलब ही है कि पॉइंट को डिलीट कर देना पॉइंट के अलावा जो उसमें नेबरहुड में जो भी उस पॉइंट के अलावा जैसे ए के बारे में हम चेक कर रहे हैं तो ए के अलावा उस नेबरहुड में जो भी पॉइंट आएंगे उनको वो वैलिडेंट देयर फोर तो ए एवरी नेबरहुड ऑफ ए contains infinite members of s for example s humne ye assume kiya aur ye hamara set of real numbers ho gaya to hum kya kahenge ki agar humne iska neighborhood banaya maan lijiye a minus epsilon a plus epsilon to a minus epsilon to epsilon is positive and a minus epsilon to a plus epsilon intersection s is what it is an infinite set iska matlab ye non empty to ho hi lekin infinite set hona chahiye ओके, तो इसी को हम क्या कहेंगे तो लिमिट पॉइंट्स के हमारे पास दो सिनोनिम्स हैं तीन तो लिमिट पॉइंट इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड लिमिट पॉइंट ऑल्सो कॉल्ड क्लस्टर पॉइंट दीज आर जस्ट नेम्स यू हैव टू जस्ट रिमेंबर दैट वेन एवर दिस विल बी यूज यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड दैट इट इज अ लिमिट पॉइंट सो क्लस्टर पॉइंट एक्यूमुलेशन पॉइंट एंड एक्यूमुलेशन पॉइंट accumulation point or what a one more term is there that is called a condensation point so all the three have the same meaning just you have to recall that what is a limit point and apply the definition in the question you will get the answer okay but the definition must be understood very clearly so that you can use it in any example All right. So, अब हम एग्जाम्पल इसमें देखते हैं सच दैट वी विल अप्लाई द सेम थिंग ओके सो अब हम इसमें वो भी कंपेयर कर सकते हैं दैट ओपन एंड क्लोज इंटरवल तो पहले क्लोज इंटरवल समझ लेते हैं तो क्लोज इंटरवल के बारे में हमने बताया था कि C अगर कोई पॉइंट है उसको डार्क सर्कल से डिनोट किया A to B. तो C अगर कोई पॉइंट है तो C का जो नेबरहुड बनाएंगे तो एटलीस्ट वन मेंबर वाली कंडीशन थी तो उसमें C हम डिलीट कर देते थे बट हियर वी विल नॉट डिलीट C. So C minus epsilon and C plus epsilon will contain infinite members of the this interval. Naturally, because जो भी interval हमारा बनेगा उसमें rational rational बनेंगे. So by using density property, you you will also conclude that the this neighborhood will contain infinite members of the set S. In the similar way, A and B for A and B you can also check. Is it okay? So this is the comparison between the first definition and the second definition. Now we will look at what is not an example of a limit point that we will see so for example i will choose a finite set any finite set so any finite set finite set what is the definition of the finite set a set which is either empty or it contains a finite number of elements that is called a finite set okay so for example humne a liya that is 1 2 3 and 4 it is a finite set it contains the only number of elements equal to 4 okay so we will check that the member and a non member hum dono ko check karenge because 
any one can limit point can be a limit point so we will check first the members and then we will check which are not members all right so one is a limit point or not so again every neighborhood of one contains infinite members of the set so in set there infinite members hai nahi therefore one cannot be a limit point in the similar way two cannot be a limit point because the neighborhood does not contain infinite members of the set a in the similar way three is also not four is also not they are not limit points so any member of the set of this set are not the limit points of the set all right a non member we will talk about non member for example 1 by 2 you choose 1 by 2 and i will give you an epsilon for which for which that neighborhood of 1 by 2 by selecting the suitable choice of epsilon will not contain any element therefore how is it possible that it will contain an infinite members therefore 1 by 2 is also not a limit point in the similar way the members except these points you can verify the definition easily therefore finite set does not have any limit point therefore finite set does not have any limit points all right they will not contain any limit points neither from the set not from the outside of the set is it okay so in this way we can judge what are the limit points of any set but we will look for another another one or one very important example okay that is the set of rationals okay what what is the definition of rational simply p by q such that p and q are integers and q should not be equal to 0 that is the definition of rational number okay so a rational number so first i will check so so any question you attempt koi bhi question aap attempt karte hain then you need to check two things jab bhi limit point ke bare mein baat kari to ek to uska member limit point hoga ya nahi dusra uska non member non member kya limit point ho sakta hai yani ki hame pure r point pe check karna chahiye real numbers pe pure agar hum nahi check karenge to galti hone ke chances zyada hain to p by q form ke hain to humne sabse pehle rational number liya 3 by 2 अब थ्री बाई टू का हर एक नेबरहुड हमने बनाया कोई भी नेबरहुड आप ले लीजिए ये पूरा क्यू मान लेते हैं ये पूरा आर मान लेते हैं और हमें ये चेक करना है कि ये क्यू का लिमिट पॉइंट है कि नहीं है तो अगर ये क्यू का लिमिट पॉइंट है इट मीन्स दैट एवरी नेबरहुड ऑफ थ्री बाई टू विल कंटेन इन्फाइनेट मेंबर्स ऑफ वॉट क्यू ओके एंड वी नो बाई डेंसिटी प्रॉपर्टी दैट बिटवीन एनी टू रैशनल एंड बिटवीन एनी टू इ रैशनल देर एग्जिस्ट अ रियल नंबर ऑल राइट सो so, क्या होगा कि इसके इसके ठीक अगर हमने कोई एप्सिलन इक्वल टू मान लीजिए कुछ भी चूज कर लिया छोटे छोटा ले लिया या बड़े से बड़ा ले लिया बड़े से बड़े में तो आपको पता ही लग जाएगा कि उसमें आराम से इंक्लूड हो जाते हैं बट हमने कोई छोटा अगर नेबरहुड मान लीजिए लिया तो थ्री बाई टू माइनस एप्सिलन और थ्री बाई टू प्लस एप्सिलन के बीच में क्या इन्फाइनेट मेंबर्स रैशनल हैं तो जरूर होंगे क्योंकि अगर हमने लिया थ्री बाई टू माइनस एप्सिलन एंड थ्री बाई टू प्लस एप्सिलन तो इसके बीच में इन्फाइनेट मेंबर्स ऑफ क्यू आर अवेलेबल दैट इज बाई डेंसिटी प्रॉपर्टी दे आर फोर थ्री बाई टू रैशनल नंबर विल बी अ लिमिट पॉइंट ऑफ दिस सेट सो ऑल रैशनल्स इन द सिमिलर वे यू कैन शो फॉर ऑल रैशनल्स ऑल रैशनल्स आर लिमिट पॉइंट्स ऑफ वॉट आर लिमिट पॉइंट्स ऑफ सेट ऑफ रैशनल नंबर ओके इन द सिमिलर वे इफ यू सेलेक्ट रूट फाइव फॉर एग्जाम्पल So root 5 will be somewhere here. Again, you can locate on the number line. So root 5 minus epsilon, root 5 plus epsilon. Naturally, it will contain infinite members of Q. Remember, it is an irrational number, but I am looking for what rationals are contained in this neighborhood or not. So in this neighborhood, root 5 minus epsilon and root 5 plus epsilon, it will contain infinite members of Q. Therefore, all irrationals, all irrational numbers. are also limit points of what are also limit points of q complement sorry we are talking about q therefore q k infinite members are available in the neighborhood of irrational numbers therefore all irrational numbers are also limit points of q okay so what is the uh, so uh, the uh, the collection of limit points of q the collection of the collection of limit points the collection of limit points of what rational number set of rational numbers is equal to what the entire set real number 
okay in the similar way you can establish for this one also q complement all the limit points of q complement are included in r each and every real number uh, is a limit point of q as well as each and real each of real number is is a limit point of q complement as well okay so the derived set of q and derived set of q complement is equal to what set of real numbers it will include all the points okay so, so these two are very important example to clear the concept that how to calculate how to find the limit points of a certain set in the similar way for set of real numbers it's very easy because any neighborhood will contain infinite members of the real numbers therefore all the points of real all the points of real number system are the limit points of r okay so derived set of r is what itself set of real numbers is it clear so i will assume so i am assuming that the concept of limit points is clear by now so you can attempt the problems very easily to get the answer all right and this concept is very important and it will be used in each and every topic so it must be clear very in a very uh, efficient way